Hey guys, Sayuli here, and today my thinking positive was, well, for both today and yesterday, so that's the 21st and the 22nd, it was spending time with family and getting ready to prep for my live stream. Today I am live streaming and I'm so excited. Uh, yesterday you may have noticed a positivity challenge did not go up yesterday. This is because I spent the whole day with my family and I am actually working on uploading all that information right now so that I can attach it to the end of this video and you guys get this kind of a, a special. So if this video seems super long, that's the reason why. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it, shall we? Hey guys, so you Lily here and today my thinking positive is spending time with my family. I got my mother over here and my sister and uh, Lou, not a part of my family just yet, but he doesn't want to be on camera so I'm going to get it short. We're on the road. We are heading towards the zoo and uh, unfortunately we passed the zoo sign. But yeah, we'll be doing more photography there, more camera work, and uh, Lou's back on camera again. at the Memphis Zoo! We've got all these really cool animals, stone animals as you go in. In fact, I'm gonna back up real quick. You go ahead, Lou, you gotta go ahead. <laughs> See the stone lion, and the elephant, and the rhinoceros, and there's my family way up ahead. And uh, way up ahead. Oh, I know. And you're the one that backed up. I was, yeah, you're right, you're right. Memphis Zoo and Aquarium. I got all the, the symbols on there. I only know one symbol, ironically. Well, not ironically, I guess, because I don't know the language. And that's the onk way up there. That's the blue next to the green wiggly line and the blue wiggly line. But yeah, we're about to pay for admission and get inside. In fact, we could probably take a peek. There's the obelisk that you see there. That's neat. Anyways, onwards into the zoo. We're now entering cat country. Now, the commercial appeal is one of those local uh, newspapers. Uh, and there's... Sekhmet, the Queen of Memphis, so to speak. But it's kind of fitting with the cats and everything. Evie, you have a favorite animal? Uh, a cheetah. Cheetah, that's right. And you're hiding, okay. <laughs> oh, and look, that's a perfect shot. There's a serval. I wonder if I can... She's smelling something. Oh yeah, she kind of went for something. Oh, what a beautiful kitty. Anyway, on to more cats. <laughs> you often see in Minecraft in real life. There's one sleeping on the cool rocks. I think there's uh, one or two more. It might be hiding. Yeah, oh, there's one in the tree over there. In the tree? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a water tail. You see it? Yeah. The tail's hanging down. See the sunshine? Let's get closer. Here you can see it. That's a lot. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, see, you probably see the tail switch. Yeah. <laughs> no, just hanging out. Here's something you don't get to see every day. The Crested Screamer actually has a nest of eggs. And unfortunately, I can't zoom in far enough, but the fact that she's standing up... Oh, yeah, and look. She's getting all... She's getting all ready. I do believe that she actually has a nest of eggs that are hatching. Um, if you guys probably, I don't know the resolution of the video, but there's a couple of cracks that look like they're moving. And uh, she's calling and, and prepping the nest. So that's, uh, that's a very rare sight indeed. Look at that. On Evie's favorite, and you can kind of see them through there. Yeah. I see them. You can kind of see them better through the, the screen. Funny enough. I'll circle around and see if we can get a good view. There we 
we go. You can kind of see their ears a little bit. Aww. Last time when they were, we were here, they were pacing back and forth. It was just beautiful camera work. Unfortunately, my battery died. So, yeah. It's all grasses. Um, yeah, I think they're just being lazy today. It's too hot. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't blame them. Oh, and there's a bird in the... Hi, bird. You're on YouTube. <laughs> That one's on alert. Now these guys are absolutely adorable. They absolutely love the heat. Oh look, there's are they all over there? Oh yep, and one straighting sentry post it looks like oh nope, maybe not. <laughs> oh the like resting or something. Like yep. <laughs> They're doing what meerkats do best, and I thought I saw one down here. Uh looks like I'm Oh yes I did. There he is. Oh. Yeah, okay, I didn't notice the normal. skulls before. Yeah. Just to add to the natural environment. Okay. The meerkats are very, very popular. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> we are at the birdhouse, and here's one of the blue bellied rollers. Hey, bud. You gonna fall for the camera? I think it's shy. Oh, there we go. Hi. Yeah! <laughs> uh, this is one of the coolest exhibits because there's actually a spot that you can walk around and uh, be relatively close to the birds, or at least as close as they'd let you. Crested Kua. Hey! And they're very camera friendly. That's one of the cool things about the birds here, is that they're all very camera friendly. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head in. Oh, it sounds like a sparrow's gotten in here. Sounds like it. Oh, where's the hanging parrots? I guess they're, they're being fed. Oh, I see one over there. Oh yeah, no, yeah, they are being fed. <laughs> yeah, they are. These guys are kind of hard to see. Oh, but this guy is going to make it easy for us. <laughs> Printing himself for the camera. Look at him. Flush crested jay. Yeah, that would describe him pretty very well. He's plush. Yeah, very plush. The pygmy falcon. Oh, they're so cute. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know about that, but their beak is definitely different from us of the birds. <laughs> oh, and this one's out. And then she can tell us the next one. Yep. How about the exhibits? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I like these birds. Actually, are pretty camera friendly. Here we go. The kingfisher in the corner. Hey, bud. How you doing? <laughs> Very proud. Yeah. Oh, and the hornbill. These guys are really cool looking. Oh, there's another one over there. Yep, he's snapping though. I don't want to bug him. Oh, he's awake. <laughs> 
Huh? It has a black beak. Uh, the male and female have different colored beaks. beaks. In fact, I would hazard a guess is that's the male and that's the female. And now we're going to move to the open exhibit, which is really cool. It's Kookaburra down there. But this is actually open. There's no glass. The fly up and above. And there's a lot of people here, so we're going to go actually inside the exhibit. Is right around the corner, is kookaburras, a laughing kookaburras. I can see you guys from a mile away. Yep, you got that long beak. <laughs> but here we go, open flight area. Cut the chain, and yeah, let's see what we can find. For the basket, this waterfall. I can hear, oh, there they go. I don't know if I caught that on camera. They're really quick. There's ducks over here. And here are all the, uh, stuff. Oh. Huh? Oh, yeah. There he is. Hello. Oh, and there's a duck in the water. Oh, and that guy you can see from a mile away. Beautiful blue feathers. Oh, I didn't think about that. I'm actually wearing blue, which is very rare in nature. It probably explains why we've been getting able to get so many good camera shots. Oh, and there's that long tail. Beautiful. Not much bird, but beautiful tail. <laughs> yeah, it's a tiny bird. Oh, here she comes the duck. How many other ones? Huh? Of the long tails. Yeah. There's a pair of them. This is my favorite part of the exhibit, actually, is the open, open area. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the, there's the female. She almost just like, run away. Got lighter all of a sudden. Yep. Oh, cool. Whoops. What's flash? Oh, it was the female. Another female. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I don't know if you can see it, there's a fruit dove over there. He's got the little red head and the pink chest. And green wings. And green wings. Mm -hmm. green wings. Yeah. I'm not sure what bird that is, with the red eyes and the blue stripes. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Woo! That was right past my head. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of the exhibit. Fairy Bluebird blue was the black and blue one? Yeah. Oh, and these guys, these guys are actually related to the Kiwi, and I'm forgetting the name. The Black Crake, that's right, Black Crake. Oh, there we go. Oh. These guys are related to the Kiwi, which is unfortunately now extinct. Which is, uh, which is sad. Kiwi was cute. Sunlight on it may not be uh, very good. Fronia. Oh, there he is. Looks like it's making a nest. Might be able to see it move. Oh, and now it's getting still. Yeah. <laughs> and here's another hornbill. <laughs> That's the male. He's got a bit of a longer horn bill. So that's definitely the female. <laughs> Looks like she may be going through a slight bolt, but still fluffy as ever. Aww. I'm feeling just fine. I'm just sunning myself. Green. Whoop. 
I can't pronounce that. Woodhope? Yeah. Woodhope or something like that. Something like that. Looks like there's only one. No, there's two in there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Decided to show himself. Uh, where'd the female go? There she is. The there she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're very much back and forth. It looks like they don't want to be filmed today. That's the mouse bird. Blue knit mouse bird. Yeah, they're very much. Oh, there's one. Oh, there she is. Or he. I'm pretty sure that's a she. Just the color and shape of her feathers. <laughs> White eye. Oh, it's a fruit dove right here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we can get both of them a shot. Oh, oh just for a second. <laughs> yeah, golden white eye. Very inquisitive bird. Very okay, pretty. Oh, there's a fruit dove. Hey, fruit dove. Aw, he's gonna look away. Aw, oh, you're being shy today. This one wants to be in camera shot, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and that pretty much concludes it. Oh, we have the burrowing owls in the front. Remember yeah. them? Oh my god, those are so adorable. Oh yeah. Let's hope it's here. They should be here. They might be nesting square. Oh, there you go. There he is. Look at them. Oh, yeah. Oh. So adorable. Big eyes. Cute bodies. And this is the burrowing owl. And there's some information on it. I have to wonder if it was the color shirt you were wearing or what. Might have been. <laughs> and these guys, we saw these on the way in. They're cool. Well, there's more zoo to explore, so let's head on. Penguins! <laughs> penguins! Now, penguins are actually really hard to determine their sex just by looking at them. But thankfully, the zoo has given them these uh, blue and red bracelets. Now, the blue would be the males and the red would be the females. But they are adorable. <laughs> it's a little hot today. It is the middle of summer. So they're gliding about under the water. Oh, there he goes. The water would probably be kept very, very cool. But yeah. <laughs> Stingray Bay. That's where we're headed. We gotta get the tickets first. But this thing is cool. You can actually get a chance to feed the stingray. And I took Evie on her first trip here. And uh, hopefully she's more brave this time. I wasn't scared last time. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I didn't even say anything about you being scared this time. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned it earlier. I know, I know. All right, we got to get the tickets, but then we'll uh, head in there. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but there's a baby and there's sharks. And look, there's the, uh, the eggs. That's kind of cool how they put them up. They had for a little while the uh, exhibit in which you can touch the eggs, but I guess they got um, destroyed in the process or something. Unfortunately, it, it does, while the eggs are hard, it doesn't take much to pop them. Oh, see, there's some down on the bottom. Yeah. And here is the pool. Magnificent, huge pool. We're going to go ahead and head over here and uh, buy some food. It's a nursery pool. Oh, there's a There's babies. Look at them. Oh, here's the big daddy shark. There's a shark hiding up there. Let's see if I can call him. Oh, a little bit. Well, let's go get some food from him and get food there. Yeah, we're in the back east. Oh. You had a beanie baby like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go take care. Oh, there's a big guy in the middle. 
a dark spot. <laughs> well, let's go get the food while they before they close. I think I love pets. So let's see if I can. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Thanks, big guy. Yeah, he was here last time I was here. Sweet old gentle giant. And uh, these are cute little ones. <laughs> We're waiting for the feeding cup station to be open. They are adorable. As you know, as cute as a, a flatfish would be. Let's see if I can call them. That's how you call them, by the way. Is gently tapping the water or tapping the edge of the enclosure. They're sensitive to the vibrations. You don't want to like smack it, but you can get them to head over. And there's my sister. That one. They're definitely hungry. They're waiting for the food. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. It's a little albino nurse shark. Now, uh, contrary to popular belief, nurse sharks will actually sleep. In fact, that's exactly what he's doing right now. And uh, they love my sister for some reason. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> but he's just happy. Here comes the big old tiny giant again. The guy's rested. Here he goes. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. You get a boomer? I uh, used to be looking for food. We got our sardine cups. Now I'm going to hand the camera to Lou so that he knows I can show you guys how to actually feed these guys if you ever in this situation. What you do is you want to pinch it and flip it. Make sure your hand stays as flat as possible. privacy then. <laughs> so we're about to get some food at this cat house cafe. I'll probably circle around to get some of it. And uh, there's some uh, topiary designs and it looks like someone made their own edition. Oh, he was inspired by Ben Thorne. He didn't want to be seen on, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go get some food. It's noon. Yes. It's lunchtime. <laughs> so we're going to go some, get some lunch and uh, Evie's sitting here. Lou's sitting here, and uh, we have monkeys that are very much showing off for, uh, for us. <laughs> I gave you the thumbs up! Yeah. Oh yeah, you did. Look at that. <laughs> I think the female very much likes Lou. That's a male in the corner, so I think he got jealous. That's, that's adorable. Hello! I'm very curious indeed. Cool things about the Memphis Zoo is we have our own pandas. This is Lala. We go ahead and grab the uh, name as well as the Chinese symbol. 
Lele, sorry Lele, not Lala. And yes, this is her day day room. Got bamboo, this camera in the back, and all the bamboo she can eat. Oh, and there's a good facial structure, <laughs> face shot. There we go. Look how happy she is. Yeah. Let's go see if Yaya is in the room. No, oh, she's not. Well, over there would be her day room. This. Yeah, yeah. Lala. Lele. I'm going to get it pronounced someday. It's adorable. So unfortunately my phone did run out of batteries right after uh, around lunch, but thankfully I was able to get a couple of shots of the pandas. Uh, it's one of the very cool things about Memphis is we actually have pandas in our zoo. Not many zoos have, actually have that. And uh, yeah, the zoo was fun. It was uh, a lot of fun. I, I don't get to do that very often. We certainly made a full day of it. I think I'm going to um, set aside. Hi, babe. I think I'm going to set aside some money and actually get a real camera to well, one have as a backup so that you know my battery's not always running low, but uh, to do more stuff like that because that was actually a lot of fun and animals are my expertise and it was it was kind of fun sharing these little bits of uh, tidbits as I recorded. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully the camera wasn't too loud for you. It was a different speaker, and I hope you guys stay positive. I'll catch you around next time.